Hello and welcome to Life is Magical podcast. I'm your host Sri Manju Kadragada, intuitive healer, Akashic records reader, Hay House author of Connect Your Inner Guide book. And who believes in experiencing healing and life is magical? Through this show, I'll be sharing my toolbox which is full of life hacks, tips for rainy days, ways to hold our connections with the inner guide and much more fun things let us begin this journey today's episode we are going to talk about life is magic my most favorite subject in the healing as jk rowling says we don't need magic to transform our world we carry all the power we need inside ourselves already Isn't it just magical about it? Yes, life is just out of the lines and we need to review it constantly. And we don't need to be stuck in the ways like being in the boxes. You know, you don't need to fit into the single box or a particular one like, you know, you just need to be more about opening up and thinking about out of the box like, you know, where else can you create your own box or make your own one and um, adapt to it you know so you know like if you would have created a new one there are many people waiting to get into that space you are creating a tribe along with you so that is where my magic intake is about when you believe in the magic there is miracles that come in and flow like you know it just makes it so easy to have the hope to have the unexpected to happen like uh, rather than saying this is it you have more creative like what else could there be like you know the curiosity in your own self like or opportunities that you're going to get in so that is where the life is magic comes about uh, and it is as simple as that but it is also that surprise you know that we need to be waiting and looking up to every corner of the place looking for engaging for the opportunities as well we just can't sit around and say hey life is magic things will fall in place but no we need to make the move have your passion and create what you absolutely love about so think about like if you're stuck in a particular job or um any point of your life and you don't see anything happening think about rather than focusing on that particular aspect what else are you engaging your life with what are your hobbies how do you recharge yourself what is the portal to let go for you so when these are actively coming in you're creating a new space within yourself like that good vibe the positive vibe coming about and this is where when the new beginning start in and you never know what is going to unfold in front of you as you keep watching it so rather than being stuck holding heavy weight it's easier to let loose think about like you know the water uh, is uh, stagnant with the dam and when the dam is opened up the water rushes out and sometimes it creates new creeks as well like you know and that is the most important the force the passion the just in yourself is just creating all that yeah but hey we all grew up with the conditions from the family society community that we have to tie only the lines they have laid out for us what ancestors have told us we have to follow it and that's only right thing if not you know you have to bear the consequences but hey they never would have thought about like how about we encourage them and let them create a new world so we can be there to protect them most of the society or at least the generation i grew up is not the same like you know and which is like we are writing the history for a new time a new beginnings a new era with opportunities here now if you look around there are many entrepreneurs there are many passionate people coming up with their own ideas to see what they want to do rather than being stuck with 9 to 5 or uh, creating something that has 9 to 5 but you still enjoy at the end of your 5 o'clock in the day yeah so it's not about like who you are it's about accepting exactly the way you are even if it's your different and remembering that you have these beautiful 
unique talents and gifts that you are born with like you know and that is the most important thing to acknowledge it for yourself and only when you accept yourself you can see the beauty even with the flaws that's the first thing like you know that you need to accept it we were raised um uh, or pointed with the fingers if you have any freckles on your face or any acne or pimples right uh, why don't you do something why don't you fix up your face like you know this is the particular way we all need to look it just because we have to follow the conditions that were set like you know what is not but hey think about it like you know why do we need to hide out and for how long do we need to hide out in accepting who we exactly are so just allow yourself to hold that thought who are you doing this for whom are you pleasing this for like you know um society are they going to be there for you when you are going to be successful they are going to be praising you that's it the story is forgotten like you know and when you are at a low moment were they there for you maybe a little bit and that's it they would have forgotten and moved on it's just like page 3 paparazzi whoever is in the limelight that is the news that gets on to like you know it's the same with the community the news of course like yeah think again like this is you this is your life and what is your intake about it what do you want to achieve maybe nobody has said that to you before or you may not have heard or able to make a decision before now when this opportunity comes this is a bit awkward because you're trying to do something you haven't done so definitely there is a fear associated for me fear is taking as a friend moving it forward fear comes only when we are resisting to some things that really deep down you want to do it right and if someone says come on let's do it at that moment of time you love that support and you just do it even though that fear is there you just love the support you were getting in right and think about it you're going to live your life with content and that is the magical about this life this journey and experiences that you're going to create all along in your own terms like you don't need to regret about it or you don't need to think wish i did something different no you do it now and this is it like you know and you change whatever you want to like of course take small steps like you know you don't need to big massive step of saying hey i'm quitting my job and tomorrow i'm going to figure it out like you know no that that that's not the way i would be doing it myself as well like so when i was doing my own business i was always passionate like so i was doing nine to five job and be stressed um like whole chaotic and trying to juggle with the family times and everything and then i started doing what i was passionate about my business after my work hours and i i did that for over like 8 years and i realized like i'm not tired in the place where i was passionate and i could change around my 9 to 5 as well being less stressed about it because i know i'm going to be happier later on in the evening or on the weekend what i absolutely love about it so that was my way of doing it and then one day i said i have done enough of this multitasking being at two places let me just go deep dive because by then i have built up my client base i have far looked into what exactly i am enjoying it what is the most fruitful for my heart and i said like okay now is the time and that is where i did uh quit my corporate career and get on to my business career and this is yeah taking that slow steps helped me to hold on to what i was able to do without having that um scarcity or the fear or the past telling us like you shouldn't be doing this this is too risky or what are you up to when you have a family you need to feed the family no this is when you build that way you are confident you are answering to yourself and the external voice doesn't really matter at that moment of time so it is about you listening to your inner calling so think about what is your inner calling saying right now don't be afraid to ask this question from time to time and let the answer come in you don't jump in to make an answer sit in with that like you know just for a few moments maybe in your meditation or when you're walking maybe by the nature like whatever your favorite spot is ask that question and let that answer come in when the answer comes in 
it's very subtle where it's not your ego speaking but your heart saying it out loud to you and you will be hearing that from multiple directions like you know not only your heart saying but once you open that portal up you'll be hearing from your friend or from a newsletter or from an article or someone else will mention about the same thing so this is it like you will be hearing those words magically everywhere like again that's the law of attraction that is a law of attraction to get what you want as well and start speaking out loud be more practical the more you speak about your dream the more uh, nearby you get in or the more uh, closer you get to your own dreams as well getting them fulfilled because you're holding that accountability for yourself about sharing and you know as you talk about it out your confidence changes as well like you know and that is it no turning back it, the game is only forward and deep inwards to yourself and yet times you might feel a bit wobbly the path could be narrow um the, there could be a heavy baggage you're carrying in so you might feel like oh, is this the right thing again like you know you might be doubting yourself but hey take a deep breath and think about it why did you even start at the starting very start of it and what is uh, driving it you further so when i think about it i have my beautiful client testimonials to hold on to and say like this is exactly why i wanted to do the work i'm doing like you know when i see someone leaving my therapy place or after reading say hey this changed my life or this gave me a peace to me this is it this is so rewarding for me that a 9 to 5 has never given that space and opportunity for me like you know so that is very unique and that always will stand out to me yeah and it it it's about like also why do you need why do you need to carry a heavy baggage all the time uh it could be the heavy baggage when i say here um it's literally like the anger from the past the fear the worries or the forgiveness like you know these are all the past things or the future things something that happened you can't change or something that hasn't even happened yet you are thinking about it you know so this is where you need to come back to yourself in the moment and ask where is this coming from who planted it sometimes actually it's not even you planting it someone telling you about it and you think oh that is my truth like you know but hey bring back bring back yourself and say where did that come from uh, and that will tell you a lot more like you know that's not your words at all like you know you might have overheard or you might have imagined or somebody would have said because that's their fear not your fear think about it like if they wouldn't have done what you're doing in it's their jealousy could be as well impacting you right i mean like there is no soul that i have met so far who is um who hasn't felt that stuck um not able to do what they want to do at any point of their life right so that could be coming out for them as they see you because they are so happy for you yet they are feeling caged within themselves like you know and sometimes it's not even about you you just happen to be their mirror reflecting them and you're happening to be taking it all in right and just for that life to be magical the beginning is very much about your dream your vision and what do you want in your life that question again like you know what does your inner calling say you what does your soul get satisfied with like what if what is that you want to create all these things like you know asking a lot of what's will help you get closer to your own mission that's the most important thing like yeah we absolutely are unique people with unique things even though we are all alike connected and everything but the same thing someone else will say i mean like same topic life is magic someone else can say in a different way because of they will add their own uh, perception their own experience to it and it need not be the same as mine that's perfectly okay to accept right and uh, for me as well this is what i'm experiencing this is what my part of it what i feel about it right so think about it again pause there and um, have a journal write it down in your journal or type it in your uh, smartphone like you know thinking about hey what do i want that's it 
and definitely like you know you need to come out of your comfort zone to dream with no strings being attached like you know um like who are you to dream or how dare you could you dream um what is lacking in you like all these will be your questions will be checked upon you checking how strong are you to fulfill or go further i mean like when i started my business other than my husband nobody else supported me like everyone rolled their eyes why am i crazy doing this like you know why am i leaving or thinking about like um running my corporate job and trying to establish this because there is nothing there nobody has done in my family or forget about to anyone talking about healing or meditations or anything like this is not the norm uh, even though i grew up in india i learned yoga at 16 and yet this is not norm for me to do it right but consistently turning up to practices that i believed in because i have seen the changes for past like 11 12 years i have been doing this work and now people do see the change in me do see the effect of it or do hear like how is it impacting them as well because they are in that light uh, that we are all sharing and this is it they are turning around now i see a lot of my friends doing this what i'm doing even though i was on my own at the time but not anymore like you know i'm so glad that i'm able to hold that light for my friends or my uh, people who haven't understood me at the time like you know that's a beauty about how the healing changes your perspectives and you all get together hold the hand for each other like you know and that's the best feel again like you get in what you do so if you're a um, entrepreneur or if you are an artist like you know you are successful think about like you know who else in your family is looking up to you and how you can give the way to them or how you can tell your success story and tell them what to watch out for isn't it that's the brotherhood or the sisterhood like you not know, to do for each other that's the most amazing gift that we can give for our community back like yeah and for me it was like it was amazing like when i was uh, young i used to go to the fortune tellers and ask them uh, tell me about the future like you know <laughs> i used to go to these uh, i would have said so many times like over to the people like i would be going near to the beaches where there would be these parrot readers and i would be sitting there and a parrot would be coming out of a cage and picking up like a tarot cards and this guy will interpret the message in his own way and tell me in half of the stuff i would be just waiting for like as if would be saying like he is fixing me or something is bright is going to happen i don't need to do the work but over and over like you know later on in my 20s i realized uh, later in 20s i realized oh they were just telling me but i had to do the work either the lows or the highs it's me who had to go through nothing from the fortune tellers right so that is where i said like hmm i better take my own um, thoughts and actions into my own in charge so i hold it rather than depending on external factors like you know as um in the other podcast ever said like you know faith and healing uh it goes hand in hand like you need to have the faith for the healing to take place and this is where again like you know you need to hold um the total integrity of the truth of where your dreams are leading up to what do you want to achieve out of it yeah and we can only create the miracles in our lives by believing that magic you're born to change think about all the successful stories of the great legend or anyone that inspires you look back read their memoir or a biography or hear to them their personal stories what made them to be successful who are they and where was their journey coming along like you know what was that thing they are talking about that makes them stand out when i looked into it everyone's talking well from their heart everyone was passionate about what they were doing and that made them to be unique and especially special and i was looking up to them because i wanted to do that speak my own truth without the being hurt or without hurting anyone able to be there where they were and that is something that i was looking up to you just need to keep practicing on and on doing it it's just not 
can think about like yeah it has been so many years you created to who you are now if you are going to make some changes it does take a little bit of consistency and a little bit of a work to do that as well and that's the only thing like just like any magician as well needs to keep practicing at their skills we need to practice as well and then it just gets easier and easier it doesn't matter if you're performing on your own or in a crowd um because it, it's about you turning up to the show and doing what you meant to be doing and definitely my advice would be to start slow take baby steps and go further and that's where you are in control of what's going to come around and hold that space and let this magic flow just like the river as said like you know make its own stream you don't need to define that it has to go only a particular stream let it go anywhere it needs to and sometimes from time to time you may be getting stuck um in your flow or you might feel like there is a big rock ahead again think about it relook into it the journey that you have been here so far and what is the help where is the help is going to come in for pray pray surrender like you know and you will see that your inner guidance or the guidance from the external sources who are wishing you for your highest good is going to come in so handy because you have raised your vibrations you have raised your bar and only the purest energies will be coming in and where your circle of friends they are only going to be the inspirational ones yeah magic is about believing in yourself and if you can do it anything is absolutely possible and this is one of the biggest strength i have gained over the years and you can go by it like you know just give it a try and see what comes around it and also be open to wondering what the solution is rather than the just thinking about the issues difficulties we do say if there is a problem i need to send a email to bunch of editors uh, for my blog article it could be my difficulty is to how to frame an email very basic but that is where my struggles are i have no problem in writing a blog but when i'm going to reach out how do i frame it what do i write to them so i delay delay and not do that activity until some fine day someone says and pushes a hey, why don't you publish it it's really good like you know and then i'll be looking and absolutely i feel stuck because i'm only focusing on i just can't do this emails that's it i don't know how to frame those emails but if i stop thinking that way and think about whom can i reach out who can help me has someone done it is there a template available is there a fiverr like you know where i can go and ask someone to do for me this is the where you open it up and you bring those beautiful changes and the possibilities to come into your life and that is where you'll start creating and creating here in this sense is i'm open for receiving help i'm going to get the help and this help is going to make the emails part so easy that i can just focus on my work and someone is going to take care of to reach out to the publishers or to uh, editors and that's that's it like you know delegating and leaving what you're not in control of and what you're not comfortable with like let's say it's not that everyone needs to know everything everyone needs to be at comfort with absolutely everything in the world no <laughs> running your own business some aspects i dislike some aspects i absolutely love to and so everyone has their own ups and downs in their own way and you need to admit about it that's the most important thing but sometimes we just run away not knowing what it is not relooking into where our dislikes are and trying to focus only on the problem again so think about it
And here, there is another thought that's wandering right now. Um, if you even think about life, is not magic. Like, you know, it's just like I'm making up something. It's absolutely boring. And uh, why should we create it? Or like, you know, who is going to do this? Where does it work even? Um, why? What is the benefit out of it, right? Uh, who is... Who is even going to benefit out of it? Um, why do you need to even? All right, okay. Um, for a minute, think. Life is not magic and it's boring. Ask yourself why it should be like that. Who creates it that way? Do we create a boring artwork? Or do we intentionally make a bad dinner? Or do we give birth to a boring child? Uh, just ask yourself, who is creating issues in life? And who is stopping the prosperity coming in life? And who is doubting the key potential success? Or who is avoiding the joy in life? We are the ones who are creating the havoc in life. And it is okay to do at some point of our lives by knowing or unknowingly, but for how long? You can always change this and twist around only with your permission. Remember, you got to give the permission for better side of you. And the best experience is waking up and setting your tone for the day. What kind of a day would you like to experience today? Um, for me, I used to even like think about like, I was a snoozer, so if I was snoozing in, in the meantime, I started doing like five, in that five minutes of a snooze, setting like, hey, today I want a beautiful day. Today I want a magical day or today just to be the perfect day for my soul. So these kind of intentions I was setting up and it was amazing, amazing to see even the most challenging or the difficult parts used to go with much ease or they weren't lingering actively on my forehead and bothering me it was just much much easier the days i don't do it or don't set an intention i realize i wish i did it like you know and why not it's a simple affirmation intention setting and that's all it does take only a minute or two you relax into it and you are charging up yourself just just like you charge your phone from time to time this is charging your soul as well. And you can write down in your journal, on your phone, make a note and see how it is like in the end, like, you know, end of the day, how are you feeling about it? Yeah. Give it a try. Give it a try completely. Like, yeah, for next couple of days and see how you feel about it. And that is the first thought. Like, it's even scientifically proven somewhere I read. Like, the first thought of the day is what carries us throughout the day. Like, you know, try to keep them fresh and positive uplifting inspiring and i would always go by like you know reading what's in front of me and the quotes like yeah inspiring things or uh, anything that are only going to give me a good kind of a vibe i'm going to keep in my bedroom and that is how i function like yeah first thing in the morning should be very pleasant for me if not i'm not a morning person at all so yeah People around have to face the consequences as a result if I'm not. So I try my best to just set myself in a good tone. And that's it. It's a simple thing that we need to bring the change around. Yeah. And also, we get to meet lovely people around, um, hold their spaces as well, have lovely moments created as well. And this is, this is absolutely the basic principle of creating your own magic in your life you don't need to depend on anything you just begin with yourself again think about it set your intention first thing in the morning and set your intentions uh, run by it create your own visions your dreams and just just let a hope come in and take care of it and allow yourself at the end of this listening in to write down your own thoughts about like, what is that? What is that you're holding off to? What is that you're afraid of? Or what are your dreams even like, you know, 
if money, time is nothing an issue there or your age is not an issue. What is that you want to create? What is that you want to reach out to you? So always aim high, dream, dream bigger, like, you know, at least then you get to the nearest ones there. So don't be afraid to dream, put yourself out there expressing more as well. So good luck with that. And uh, thank you guys for listening in. Um, Yeah, do write to me and let me know how you feel about it. Thank you all for listening in and tuning into the podcast, Life is Magical. I hope you found some good nuggets to move through this week. Want to ask a question? Please email me or stay connected if something resonated or found useful and helpful from this podcast. I'd love to hear back from you. My email is info at threemanju.com. That is S-R-I-M-A-N-J-U which is in the show notes below. Until next week, namaste and good day. Happy magic. Love to you all. Thank you for listening in.